nose sometimes. Is there a way you can explain how to use a radar on the F5? Sure. So, what you're seeing here, it's a B-scope. Typical for US aircraft, Soviet ones are like this too. So, it's top down and it's stretched at the bottom, so it takes the pie slice and it stretches it like that. So the closer the target gets, the more angular resolution you have. Left side of the scope is whatever the left scan azimuth limit is, I think it's like 30 degrees. Right side, same thing. Um, your range scale is here, that tells you what the top of the scope is. So at the moment, the top of the scope is 20. I can lock out to about 10 miles, which is in the middle. Uh, we can go... wrong button. We can go to 10 miles there, you see the TDC gets bigger. We go 5 miles, or we can go out to 40, and at 40 miles you have no TDC. So I usually just leave it at 20, because you're not going to usually get returns at 40 or more anyway. Um, the little tick on the right side is your radar elevation in degrees. Um, Doom Sniper had some fucking simple way of remembering where the radar is actually pointed, but yeah, like, you know, 10 degrees up, 20 degrees up, 30 degrees up, 40 at the top. Um, the TDC is just slewed as per normal. Like I said, it only slews out to 10 miles, so on the 20 mile scale it only goes halfway up. Um, the things you see... oh, that's jamming! Someone's jamming. That's ground clutter. You'll notice the ground clutter, if we avoid getting F1'd at the moment, the ground clutter is... It, it changes every sweep, right? It changes every sweep. The F5's a two-bar scan, I believe. So, if you see something that's tracking in a consistent direction at a consistent speed, it's an aircraft. If you see it just like this, it's ground clutter. So you can actually spot things in clutter, it just takes a bit of skill and a careful eye. Um, when you actually have something you want to lock, which we don't here, but say I did, I would put the TDC over it. I would press the acquire button, which puts the radar in this mode. Then you keep the TDC on that target, and you may need to wave the antenna up and down a bit before it grabs it. The F5 is, I think, one of very few aircraft. I think it's this and the Mirage 2000, essentially. Very few aircraft in DCS, which actually... Oh, and the Tomcat, which take time to acquire a lock. Every aircraft should take time to acquire. It shouldn't just insta-lock, it should take a couple seconds. Um, sometimes up to 10 seconds to acquire it. So you've got to kind of um, fine-tune your TDC a bit to grab somebody, especially if they're down low in clutter, but you can do it. Overlord, Circus 1-4, bogey dope. Needs water to cool the engines? Yeah, when it's hovering. Because it's Circus producing one, so much Overlord. thrust. Ra, 3, 5, 2, 31, 4, 000, drag north, fish bed. Also, it's, it's not... It's not the way you might think. It's not cooling like the nozzles or anything like that. What it's actually doing is it's injecting water into the, um... Into the combustion chambers themselves, the, the, um... The, the actual, like, flame cans of the engine. And it's using that not just to cool the combustion chain of, chamber lining so that it doesn't melt through, but also to produce more thrust, because you're throwing more th more thrust into the engine to combust, right? Um, you're, you're cooling the combustion that's happening, and you're also throwing in more mass flow. So, um, some large aircraft, particularly transport aircraft, and some, uh, I think some early airliners used to use water injection for a similar purpose. This is a contact... We got him locked, so now this turns into a C-scope, like the MiG-21, I think it's a C-scope. That top bar coming down is range, the plus is his, uh, steering dot, it's him, I can see him on my nose. He's dead. Good meme, he's dead. It's an F1. We'll go have a look, he might not be fully dead. Hey guys, by the way, what's the frequency for we Is that an F5? This is it, buddy. No, it's an F1. What the fuck? What the fuck? It's broken right now, but it's like 253. Interesting. Forgot my master arm. So, yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Then to uh, 
get out of lock mode, you hit return to search, or I think it's return to search or something like that on the radar. So, yeah, we're getting there, Sabre, I might. There's something up here. So, this is a contact, it's tracking in a steady direction at a steady speed. It's definitely not clutter, he's above me. We got the radar pointed about 9 degrees up. We lost him, so we're going to move it up and down a little to figure out where he went. We may not reacquire him, especially if he just went behind a hill. Uh, belly tank's empty, we're just going to do the lazy way of getting rid of it. I can't see him. Oh, there he is. Regained. He's still out my range. I can't lock him just yet, but right about now we're going to go acquire. We got him. There we go. He's slightly below me. He's closing fast. So that's how you use the radar in the F5. It is so good. I don't know why anyone would not use the radar in this plane. It even gives me an in-range cue for my A9s. Oh, we lost him. He went behind the hill. But we know where he is, so we're just going to go into dogfight forward. And we're going to follow the ridge line. And he should pop out in front of us. Circus 1-4. Got him. He's on my nose. Right there. I can't make out what it is from here, though. We got bigger problems. Hello, Mr. F1. Overlord, Circus 1-4, bogey dart. Behind me. Circus 1-4, Overlord, Ra, 2 one I'm losing too much speed here. Need to try and force him past me. Which is going to be hard. This is the problem with the F5 when you get slow. Oh, Teleporting. I think the server's struggling a bit. He's right behind me. There's... Fuck, that's an F1. We use the rudder to roll. I can at least maybe take the F1. Okay, the MiG-21's getting slow. He's falling out from behind me, but I'm also very slow. I've got to kick the nose down a bit to extend. F1's above me. We can get a shot on him with the missile, then come around on the 21 with guns, I think. It's going to be high aspect for a P5, though. 21's pulling back in behind me. There's another 21. Oh, what is with this lag? Server's really struggling today for some reason. There we go. That'll be the end of him. See ya. Shit. It's not too late, but we got two F1s. Overlord, Circus 1-4, set tripwire, 8 miles. Why is he not replying to me? That's a jammer, by the way. That's possibly two jammers. Right next to each other. We might have a Chad in the MiG-21 with the SPS pod, or it could be a frog, I guess. But whatever that is, it's jamming. And the F5 doesn't really have any anti-jamming circuits like the 21 does, so not a lot we can do with it until we get very close. Red Bombers. Oh, that could be it. It might be the Red Bombers. 